Hey guys, I'm Jacqueline, and, I'm and we just finished watching the new Netflix movie to all the boys I've loved before, and it's based on the novel by Jenny Hom, which we Actually absolutely have it love. Right here. Yes, we both read the book quite a while ago. I think we yeah. read it a few a couple years, years ago. ago. Yeah. But we absolutely love the book, so we were super, super excited to watch the movie. Yeah, and we absolutely yes, love it. it. It was so cute. It was such like a feel good, like happy, it was such like, a, like cutesy like movie. It was just so happy. Yeah. Like it was adorable, and mm -hmm. I loved the acting in it. Like the cast was amazing. The chemistry was so good. The cast the, was spot on. Like yeah, that was really great. the writing was great. I loved mm -hmm. the family elements to it. I loved the romance. It was just so so adorable, and it was such a feel good happy movie. And yeah, I thought the filming yeah. of it was really great too. Like the we scenery kept that was out. so beautiful. Like the yeah. places that they filmed, and I feel like even like the shots, like we. We noticed there was a lot of wide shots the like filming was where done you could just really see like the whole background and it was just so like thought out and like detailed and I thought that that was very different and mm -hmm. it just I don't know that just really stood out to both of us we kept pointing yeah. out we're like wow look at this shot. look at this filming. like look at this background and like, even like the part with like they show like yeah. the Christmas like in the house I don't know it's just like it was it's just so really pretty. thought out and pretty yeah. yeah every single shot literally every shot there's like detail in it and yeah it your sister had like, mentioned like a vintage feel which kind of that, that that describes I, it as well even with like the diner like the yeah, shot of like the outside so, of the diner too it's so vintage and like whimsical and like yeah. imaginative almost like i just loved like the whole the whole idea of it and mm -hmm. it was just really beautiful everything like the filming of it was gorgeous yeah I don't know why there's so many people that are comparing this on Twitter to the kissing booth and this is nothing like that so like if you guys have seen that one that movie was really like hilarious to us like that that one, was an entertaining it was movie. entertaining it was really yeah. bad but it was so bad that it was entertaining this mm -hmm. was just amazing like this was this was really well done this was it so was great so well I'm done. like it was so a happy great adaptation with it. yeah from what I can remember from the book because it has been a few years yeah so we're not gonna really be comparing it but I'm pretty sure there's there was like a it lot of really Good. Lines, if it I was, can remember correctly, it was very, it was very good, and I love Jenny mm -hmm. Han's cameo in it too. Yes, it was we really love good. That. Yeah, it was. I got so excited. I'm like, yeah. Yeah, it was a great movie though. Like we really, yeah. really loved it. Um, yeah, I think this gets an A from us. Definitely. Yeah, yeah we sure. love it. An a five stars is great for sure. And now we're gonna talk about some more spoilers. So if you haven't seen it, you should definitely see it, and yes, then you can come and talk it. about it with us. <laughs> I love Lara Jean as a character because she's so like. She just lives in other worlds, and oh, yeah. I just she's love very that. She's so relatable. Like, in the beginning of the movie, it starts off, and she's, like, reading, like, a romance book, and she's, like, in a different world, and her sister's, like, on the knocking at the door. Like, it's just so... Like, you just relate so much yeah. to Lara Even Jean. when they went to the ski trip, and she pulls the books out of her bag. Yeah. She has, like, all of these books. I love that so much. And that really... Yeah. That, like, fantasy, like, played a really big, like, theme of the movie, because yeah. she, like, lived in this fantasy, and she didn't allow herself to really let herself make that, like, make that her real life. I love that line that she says about that. The she quote was, about it, yeah. Yeah, like, the quote about, like, romance and love and stuff, and how, like, it scares her. Like, mm -hmm. I just, I love that. And I think that they did such a great job like making it like it was just really deep all of it like all those insecurities and stuff they all went deeper than yeah. like the surface like I really loved um how Lara Jean and Peter would talk about her family like how she lost her mom and mm -hmm. then his dad went out on him like I love those conversations that they yeah. would have and it just like added like so much like depth to their entire relationship and how like oh, they yeah, have such they a great have this, connection they, they're like they have this like fake yeah. relationship but it really didn't There's seem real fake because stuff. they yeah. were actually like Exactly, they were hanging out with each other's families and really yeah. getting to know each other on that level. Like, the family aspect is such, like, a big part of this movie, so that was really important. Yes, I love the sister relationships yes. are so adorable. Mm -hmm. Like, the sisters in this movie were so cute and just, like, really relatable because, like, we're, like, sisters and, like, we have my sister. Like, it's just, like, the three Yeah, we kept, we kept laughing because, just... you know, that kitty reminds us of Anna Maria. Yeah, like, I, I love, like, the sister aspect yeah. of it. Like, how about, like, the older one always takes care of the younger one. Like, mm -hmm. I just love those scenes and I love the scenes with the dad, too. And just, I love that there was a lot of family in it as well as the romance. I love this scene, like, in the beginning of the movie when, um, she's at school and she goes to pick up her sister. And first, like, her day at school is, like, so bad. Like, she doesn't have anybody to sit with 
at lunch and then like she she picks up her sister and her sister's like I had to rotate all of my friends <laughs> and then she was sitting in the car and her sister puts like the helmet on and then she almost hits Peter and then Peter comes up to the window and it was just really great she's like oh, yeah. we're not leaving until all the cars are gone <laughs> yeah. like, it was just really great like it was really funny that was really and funny I feel like they made it though this is something that we had we kind of were like oh kind of like um yeah we this was like we the noticed. only issue that we had we noticed yeah. that they made it obvious that it was Kitty with the nose, so with the letters. obvious. So like, that was something that they didn't do in the books. At least we don't remember. No, I, I, it was more like of a mystery. Like yeah. you didn't know who did it, so they kind of made it quite obvious in the yeah. movie. Yeah. Well, I'm. You're in Lara Jean's head, really, in the book. Like, the whole mystery element of it that was in the books. Like, I wish that they kept that a mystery and they didn't make it obvious that it was the sister. Like, obviously, like, that's really who it had to have been. But I, I feel mean, like... I mean, I guess they didn't want to make the whole movie maybe revolving around, like, who did it. And it I guess more, so, like, yeah. Like, more the was, consequences yeah. of it. But I still think that they could have... I mean, it wasn't a big issue. It was just something that we noticed that we thought, like, oh, maybe... Like, they should have, like, kept that more of, like, a secret. Yeah. The scene when they have the big reveal, like, mm -hmm. the letters got out it was just fantastic the music, the music was perfect <laughs> like, too like peter just comes up to her and he's like yeah like i don't really feel that way and she's just like looking at him like what are you talking and you see, like, about? And like the letters in his hands. And it's just like the letters there and then she sees it and then she just passes oh out. Gosh. And then she wakes up and then she sees like Josh Josh has his letter and he's walking over to her and she just kisses Peter and it was <laughs> wonderful. Like it was yeah. just so cute. And then obviously Peter goes after her again and they're sitting down having milkshake and he's like, I don't think you got it the first time, but like I just wanted to tell you. <laughs> and she's like, no, I'm not into it. He's like, your mouth is saying that, but your mouth was saying something else. Like, he's so confused. And I just loved it. And then, yeah. obviously, that's where we get into the whole, um, the fake dating part, which I love the fake dating Oh my trope. gosh, I loved it. It was so I cute. Loved it. Because they were really getting to know each other. And even yeah. though it was, like, it was fake, it really was It was fake. real, it was yeah. So real. Exactly. It was so cute. <laughs> it was so cute. Like, when they made the contract about, like, the rules, like, what they were going to do. Oh, yeah, the contract. And she's mm -hmm. like, I mean, you could put your hand in my back pocket. Pocket. Oh yeah! Oh my God, that scene like, too. I love it. And he has his hand in her back pocket, and then he like spins her around, and then he gives her the note. I was, was so cute. Yeah, it was so adorable. Mm -hmm. Like just seeing all of it come together, and I loved uh, Peter's relationship also with Lara Jean's sisters, like Kitty in the car. I thought oh, that was yeah. really cute. Mm -hmm. And then you see them later on when they're watching a movie together. Like I love that stuff. And I, exactly, like, yeah. I love how cool she is to her little sister. That like. They were able to like hang, like yeah, all they were hanging out. Yeah, yeah. it was. But really yeah, cute. it took Kitty some time. Like at first, she was like, "Oh, you can call me. You could, you can call me Catherine." Yeah, and then she was just like, and then like with the the whole like um the milkshakes that they were drinking. Yeah. And later on, he went he went and, like all the way across town to get, get it for the yogurt, her for the Korean yeah, yogurt. That was for so the, um, cute. The bus ride. Yeah, I love that. Mm -hmm. Like I love how like little things like that yeah. came back. And then I loved the lock screen part. Like in the beginning, when they go to the party. And when he like tells her that he likes her hair better down, he like takes the scrunchie. Ooh, and then yeah. yeah, but when they take the pictures of each other and make it their lock screen, I thought that was so I cute. Love I like it. And her picture was just like <laughs> And then, like, he's just, like, like a really, like, smug smile. Yeah. And then I love, like, at the end of the movie, how, like, she looks at her locks here. And, and again, and it's the like, two of them. It's the two of them together. Oh, oh it was so oh. adorable. Yeah, and she's like, I should change that. And her sister was just like, or you could talk to him. Yeah, <laughs> like, you like, know, talk to him. So, yeah. Yeah, but I, I also love the relationship with her older sister. It was really interesting, too. Yeah. Because... She wasn't she, around. For she it, wasn't but around, yeah. but it was still she, felt it, exactly like she wasn't mm -hmm. around. It's, like the whole movie, she was really only in the beginning, and then she left, and she only came back like towards the end. Yeah. But you could still feel that they still had that connection. Like, I really love Lara Jean as a character, though. Like she was mm -hmm. frustrating, obviously. Like in the end, like she wouldn't just like let Peter talk. Oh yeah, about there's their communication problems. issues there's communication. and all of that. But of course, but I mean, I she's just, sixteen. She's and... sixteen, and I just feel like you just like. I felt for her. I really yeah, did. Yeah, I really like the scene when they're with Peter's family and Peter's mom mentions Lara Jean's mom and Peter's just like, like, oh my god, like, I'm so sorry about that. And then that really leads them to communicate on a really, like, deep level. And yeah. I love that when she said to him, she was like, just because, like, you're mad at him doesn't, like, you're mad, you can't miss him too. Like, I just love, like, 
There were so many great quotes in this there movie was, yeah, where, there like, was. I just, I really love seeing them communicate. Yeah, so there was one when she was thinking about their relationship and she had said that, she's like, sometimes I pretend that it's real. Yeah. It's like, oh. It was just so adorable, yeah. really. The scrunchie. You knew that damn scrunchie was of gonna come back. Of course that scrunchie was gonna come back. Yeah. You knew it. Like, when, she, when that bitch, Jen, goes in the bathroom mm -hmm. and she takes the scrunchie from him. Like, why didn't you just tell... Lara Jean about that, Peter. What, no, what, what why? made me mad is like, why did you let her, like, why, why did you leave you without her... getting that back? Like, that you knew that was her favorite uh, scrunchie. Yeah, that like, was a little frustrating, but it's like a stupid boy thing. It's like, he's, it's a stupid he guy. You don't he doesn't know. understand the sentimental value of it, of it so yeah. he just didn't care. So naturally, he has to learn the hard way at yeah. the end of the movie when, <laughs> after they're on the ski trip, when Jen comes up to, with But the I love the hot and... tub scene was my favorite. That was the best yes. scene. I loved oh, it so much. Oh my god. The that hot the tub. Scene. Like yeah. I love the shot where He's you just have Peter so just like lounging <laughs> yeah. in the hot tub. He's really hot, but I love that. Scene. I love that so much. Like, of course, that caused so much problems for them, but, but it was great. It was, it was worth it. That was my favorite scene of the whole movie. <laughs> I I love when she walks in with like her nightgown, and yeah. he's just like, "Why do you have your night?" <laughs> I didn't bring anything. So she really wasn't planning on doing anything on that trip except reading. So yeah. that was just like great. <laughs> yeah, I saw um, Lucas too. The kid that she met in the bathroom. Yeah, and she I was hanging mean, out with him and the, like telling him everything and like yeah. really like confiding in him. I like that scene. Yeah, too. like I like that the whole concept that like behind the letters she was able to make more friends from yeah, it. That, and that's true. Yeah. During the whole fight scene, I loved the filming of that because they're like standing and then there's like the door. Yeah, this and is it's before like before the they door, go to the ski. This is this is, be, this is like early this, on, this yeah. before the ski trip. Um, it's like the door and then it's them. The door is like separating them, so it's just like so symbolic that they're like, like fighting and it's like they're both ends. on like different sides of the door because they're not agreeing and it's just I love that. Like that was just so like well thought out and it's like. Oh, oh, I like, see what you're doing there. I, I'm telling you, it, the entire scenery was so well thought it out. Like, really every was. detail in Lara Jean's room was gorgeous. Like, even yeah. when her room was a mess, like, it was great. It showed like, so much personality. Like, we yeah. were saying, um, you know, like, you're not in her head like you are in the books, but you really get you her thoughts. Yeah. And well, she's I narrating like, a lot of it. Exactly, it she's great. narrating a lot of it, and you really get. In, it almost feels. It almost feels like you're inside her head during this movie. So I feel yeah. like that was just so well done. Yeah, I love the the idea of like when she has like Josh like like laying next to her like exactly. it's like imaginary yeah. Josh. And it's going the camera's like going back and forth between them. Yeah. Yeah, like I think it was it's such true. a it was a really cool idea to do that to bring like these visuals to like these visuals to the screen to really capture what was going on like internally like exactly. I really loved it yeah but I can't get over like the filming of this movie like the vintage was, tone exactly. and I didn't the imaginative the filming to be like that I was blown I away by the filming I love yeah. like even the wide shots like I love this scene when she was like up against the door and she's like getting like text messages and like just like the detail in her room like everything about like the the house was gorgeous. Yeah. Like the school was great. Like every like Everything, detail. Yeah. I love the scene also at the end of the movie, the scene with her dad when they're in the diner and she's like talking about like her mom oh, and how yes, like her mom would get that. up and dance to the song. Like mm -hmm. I really love that. All the scenes yeah. with the dad was really funny when the dad was like trying to have the sex talk yeah. with her and like getting back her condoms. Yeah, really that funny. was really funny. Yeah. I like there was just so many great moments. Like mm -hmm. this movie just made us so so happy. I love the scene of her and Josh at the end. Yeah. When they're talking about like everything and then her sister comes out with the love letters. With, like, with the love letters. It's like she does have love letters and she like oh. opens it up and she reads it and one of them had said like you look really pretty today yeah. and just really sweet things like I want a Peter. My heart was like <laughs> melting. It was so cute yeah. that scene. That was I think one of my favorite moments of the movie too when mm -hmm. the sister comes out and is like you you did get love letters. Yeah. I, I and it kind of so it kind of like made up for her her like sending those letters out because oh she like God. brought like those back and it was just like she saved those because she had, was she threw them out so she, her sister had saved those it was kind of like yeah she she got <laughs> revealed though when she says she's like sitting there with like her two sisters she's like I sent out the letter oh my God we and were all dying because that literally, literally like, like, the three I'm of going us, to like, kill you <laughs> that was literally like Jacqueline and Anna Maria and me trying to like stop them from killing each other yeah like it was just and she's like chasing her around the room yeah. like so annoyed <laughs> I, I loved that like yeah. the three of them it was 
was really great. And I love how her big sister ended up like taking care of her though when she got yeah. rid of the video and the hot tub and she really just, I don't know, that whole relationship is just so great. Yeah, it really was. The entire movie was just so like heartwarming and just yeah. made me so happy. Like from start to finish, this movie was just wonderful. It really was. And obviously the miscommunication issue was really frustrating because like they finally it get wasn't together. It was too frustrating though. I, I thought it would be more frustrating because like... Yeah. I feel like it wasn't it wasn't dragged out, you know? Like no. this had a good pacing the movie where it, it wasn't dragged out and it didn't no. feel like a million years. Yeah, I definitely. Think. Yeah, I think it definitely um wrapped up pretty quickly for yeah. sure. Like the miscommunication, like the fight, it was just like because knew even, it was coming. Even when like she wasn't yeah. talking to Peter, she was still like she we were still dealing him, with yeah. other things with like her sisters and mm -hmm. stuff, so it wasn't like that was the only like you know what I mean like. Well, this wasn't like it wasn't just like a straightforward plot exactly. about exactly. Like it was just a lot in this, which I really mm -hmm. appreciated, and I really just I loved the whole. I loved all of it really, and yeah. I loved the ending when um, Peter like defends her in the hallway with like the oh picture. Oh my gosh! Yes, and then she ends up going yeah. to him and with the, the letter. With oh my god! The, note. the ending of this movie was just like the cutest yeah. thing. He's like, "You're gonna break my heart, coming." I was like. It's Stop! It was so adorable. And then you see them walking off together. And like a happy ending. And it was so it was, great. It was so heartwarming. It, was, it, it really was. Yeah. The big ending with uh, John Ambrose coming at the door. The yeah, last letter. The last he comes letter. With flowers. And then the sister. I love the sister ends. She's just like, it's, it's for you. you. <laughs> like so, like amused. <laughs> So it's great, and yeah. they're, they're definitely obviously gonna be doing. Peter oh yeah, still love you. Like they. Have I, there's the definitely one. gonna be the sequel, especially because they they posted that picture and like yeah, they got like oh sequels. So I I'm really excited for that because yeah. like I I'm so excited to go back to this world and watch it develop more on screen. Yeah, I'm super and excited for the sequel. I'm so excited. I'm really excited for Jenny Han too. Like this is what YA adaptation should yes, be. Yes, we're like. so like, happy for so especially happy because for her. she had a cameo. Like that was really yeah, exciting to say. Definitely. But let us know what your favorite parts were down in the comments below. I think our favorite parts were like the ending and like the hot tub scene. <laughs> yeah, for sure. And it was basically like everything, everything with Peter and Lara Jean was yeah. great. <laughs> so let us know what your favorites were down in the comments below. Yes, and if you enjoyed this review, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more movie reviews. Yeah, let us know if you guys would like us to do more Netflix movie reviews. Cause yeah, because this is not very often where we, we do this. I know. We this really is just like a book to movie adaptation, so we wanted to do it, but yeah. let us know if you have any recommendations. Let us know. Yeah, any Netflix movie recommendations for sure. And yes, we've already seen The Kissing Booth, because I know that's what everybody's going to jump through. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you can also follow us on our Twitter and our Snapchat. We are at City of the Thank Field. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Bye.